this fifth camp. And this is the camp we just inaugurated. Fighting between the Congolese army and M23 rebels last year caused a new influx of Congolese refugees in Rwanda. These are mainly Congolese nationals of Rwandan origin. Some crossed the border a year and a half ago. They are all dreaming of the day they can return to the green hills of North Kivu. At the end of the M23 rebellion, some refugees went home thinking that things had calmed down. But they were killed when they got there. Men were mutilated, emasculated. As I speak, people are still being killed there. Women are being raped in our hills. The violence hasn't stopped. This new camp, opened 130 kilometers to the south of Kigali, is the fifth to shelter Congolese nationals of Rwandan origin, fleeing violence in eastern DRC. An estimated 55,000 of them are currently on the territory. A mourn to after electing a new president, Madagascar is still trying to put together a functioning government. Former head of state Andrew Rajalina has rejected the offer of the post of prime minister. We have details of that story in this report. Press conference, Madagascar's former strongman, Ange Rajwell, criticized the man who supported to become president of Madagascar, Eri Razal Nanampian. Ange Radzwell says the new president is a traitor, since he intends to include party members from his main rival, Ravalo Manan's party, in the newly elected government. The people who had called for the actual president to be disqualified now say they will support him, that their program is the same. Ange Radzwell doesn't accept hypocrisy. That is why... I will not accept the post of Prime Minister. Ange Radjurel's decision complicates the political situation, since his party has a majority in Parliament, and so the post of Prime Minister falls to him. But over the past weeks, it has become clear that Ange Radjurel has become a problem for the new president. The press has closely followed the falling out between the two leaders. Public opinion is divided between support for Ange Radjuel and ambitions for change. He has done good things for Madagascar. He has built hospitals, he has taken care of the poor and the poorest of the poor. No one else will do what he has done. It would be good if he became prime minister. We really need a new face in the post of Prime Minister. That way we'll have a new President and a new Prime Minister. But if it's Ange Ratsuel and his allies, we'll have a lot of trouble. Life is so hard that people have to search to find food. I think people want a Prime Minister who is fair and who thinks about the people and who brings down the price of rice. Madagascar's lasting economic crisis has meant people are putting all of their hopes in a new government, but political squabbling has returned to the forefront, and the country is still waiting for a prime minister. Ukraine's embattled president, Viktor Yanukovych's range as president, is slowly drawing to a close after the country's parliament agreed to remove him from power. Mr. Yanukovych swiftly fled to his power base in the east of the country, and as we hear in this report, defiant protesters have moved in to surround the presidential palace in Kiev. Animated parliamentary session Saturday, Ukraine had the impression that its future was unfurling, a future without President Yanukovych. Unfortunately, President Yanukovych, who did not listen to the people, withdrew from his constitutional duties. Today, he left the capital. Yanukovych, whose whereabouts were unknown, appeared on television Saturday to say he was going to the east of the country. He said he would not resign, called the events in Parliament a coup, and Parliament's new decisions unlawful. Parliament had sacked the interior minister and named an opposition figure to replace him. It also elected a parliamentarian from the opposition as speaker to replace a Yanukovych ally who stood down due to ill health. 
The authorities in Ukraine are getting down to work. They are beginning their work to stabilize Ukraine. The center of power in Ukraine is here, in Ukraine's parliament. Alexander Tornichov is a close ally of former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko, the iconic opposition leader who was jailed in 2011. The Ukrainian parliament voted Saturday to speed up her release without the need of the president's endorsement. Tymoshenko's daughter said she would go to meet her mother. This is the first victory, but not the last one for our country. In a few hours I will be leaving for Kharkov and will be standing there and waiting when my mother will walk free. Yeah. On Friday, Yanukovych and the opposition had reached an agreement to end the crisis. It entailed early elections, a change in the constitution and a government of national unity. Ukrainians are beginning to hope for a better future, but judging by their presence in central Kiev, they appear ready to go on with their battle. We now take our second break. Stay tuned. And we now join the Weather Center for the day's weather outlook. The source assures us of a continuous flow, and from there, everything follows. And for those of us who know what the River Gambia stands for, Understanding its sustainability in all aspects of life is easily confirmed. The River Gambia provides nutritious delicacies as food, while it provides its wildlife a balanced ecosystem. This river, as a sanctuary, is committed to its inhabitants' needs without season. And as you travel along, all these values are replicated in one company, Elton. Just like the River Gambia, leads in its commitment to values that matter most. Elton, championing the vision for a new generation. Good evening viewers, welcome to the weather forecast. We experience a warm and sunny atmosphere across the country this afternoon. Satellite picture indicates convective activities over parts of Central and Southern Africa. These activities will eventually cause rain and thunderstorm over affected areas, whilst elsewhere in the continent indicates dry and stable conditions. For tonight's focus, we are expecting a relatively cool and slightly hazy atmosphere to prevail until tomorrow morning, becoming warm and sunny in the afternoon. Winds will be not easterly in orientation, and the speed will be about 10 to 20 kilometers per hour. Morning temperatures will be 17 degrees over the Greater Banjo area, 18 degrees over West Coast, 16 over North Bank and Lower River, likewise Central River, and 17 degrees over Upper River region. Afternoon temperatures will be 34 degrees over the Greater Banjo area, 35 over West Coast, 36 over North Bank and Lower River, while Central and Upper River will experience a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. Low tides will be 0 0.5 meters at 9.41 a.m. and 0 0.6 meters at 10.29 p.m. Whilst high tides will be 1.4 meters at 3.04 a.m. and also at 4.01 p.m. Waves will be about 1 to 2 meters high southeastern swells. The sun will rise at 7.25 in the morning and will set at 19.13 in the evening. Thanks for watching and do enjoy the rest of the evening. from the weather report there, a quick look at our he headline making stories. His Excellency the President, National Chairman and Party Leader of the APRC, Sheikh Professor al Haj Dr. Yahya A. J. J. Jame, has appointed Sifai Haidara of Brikama Town as the West Coast Regional Women Mobilizer. Hundreds of mourners from the Gambia and beyond have descended on the independent stadium to pay their final respect to the late Dr. Solomon Tiwala Ethelbert Willa Jensen, who died last month.
month. Former Madagascan president Andrew Rajalina has rejected the offer to become the Indian Ocean nation's newest prime minister. And a day of drama in Ukraine has culminated